Hey everyone, and welcome to the final episode of my RT3 Mega Park. Now I've done all the building in the park. Um, this was quite a nice uh, project which I worked uh, on for uh, several weeks. Well, actually, it was several months, but uh, I sort of uh, took a break uh, in between. But yeah, most of uh, most of this park was actually done in the last uh, two weeks, and I must say I quite enjoyed uh, building in this game. Although uh, it is pretty tedious, uh, especially when placing scenery, um, for example in OpenRC2 you can just uh, disable clearance checks and then it's really easy to, uh, to just place down scenery wherever you like. And I'm sure it's also much easier in a game like uh, Parkitect. But still, I, I think it was a really fun uh, experience to, uh, to build in, uh, in RC3. Now, I'm probably not uh, coming back to this game anytime soon. Um, but still, I think it's fun uh, that I actually for once uh, made a huge park in this game. And it was uh, also really helped by the fact that uh, Frontier released the complete edition of the game, which is a 64-bit version of the game. And yeah, this park uh, with its almost 3000 guests actually runs very well on my uh, laptop. So yeah, I, uh, I uh, must... Uh, yeah, I must uh, thank Frontier for uh, releasing such a good version of the game. Okay, um, in the last episode I placed down uh, sev several more patrons. Now I actually got a message from two patrons who were not included in the park. Well, one person uh, just made a Discord account, so uh, yeah, um, he inv actually informed me that uh, that uh, he was now uh, also a member on uh, on Discord. And the other person somehow lost his tier on uh, on Patreon, so that's why I didn't notice. So uh, I will now add uh, both patrons to the park, and they probably deserve a spot uh, right here on the plaza, where there's uh, a lot of guests. All right, the first uh, patron that we will add is called Daxel. Okay, thanks for uh, reminding me that I forgot to place you in the park. And uh, yeah, if you go on Patreon, choose a tier, then uh, you will also automatically get your role on uh, our Discord server. <laughs> All right, and uh, oh, I forgot to set the I forgot to set the patrol area. All right, and the other entertainer we will name La Hodal. I uh, really hope I didn't butcher that. <laughs> okay, and now with that, uh, I believe we have all the patrons in the park. Now, if I still forgot you, uh, please let me know. There's still time to add you to the park. All right. Um, yeah, with that done, um, I think it might be fun to do a tour through the park. Now, uh, yeah, there's actually many ways to do that, but uh, <laughs> I think it might be fun to do a tour through the park with one of these dune buggies. So uh, I will set the um, time today, and then let's try out this uh, cheat. Okay, it looks like a dune buggy landed here on the roof. <laughs> Probably not the best position for it to be in. <laughs> I really hope I can uh, get out of here. All right, we're in the we're in the dune buggy now. Um, this is actually quite tricky. Uh, let me quickly see. <laughs> All right, this is probably uh, not the most uh, guest-friendly way to visit the park, and also the camera angles are just <laughs> a big mess. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna scrap this idea, and uh, we can just go through the park. Uh, we can just fly over the park. Probably a better idea, and I will probably have less uh, panicking uh, guests. Okay, here we have the entrance of the park. The first thing uh, I actually built in the park. Now, I did place some more extra foliage uh, around it in the last episode. I still uh, think it looks uh, quite nice for an uh, for a park entrance, and I really love these uh, fences that uh, that I put around it. Nice buildings. Uh, so this would be where you get your uh, tickets, and this would be where your tickets are and probably your bags uh, get checked. So yeah, there's some simple food and drink stalls around it. There's a fountain here in the middle, 
lots of guests have uh, <laughs> grouped together here after uh, the buggy uh, probably scared them to death. Um, well, here we have uh, a nice uh, jungly area with a little, uh, with a small junior coaster over here. Um, with a simple design, but uh, I think it works uh, pretty well. So put some of these uh, shells around here. Um, yeah, also the the top spin right here, which is actually one of the most popular uh, rides in the park. Uh, of course, there's also a monorail that goes all throughout the park. And this was the first station that I uh, built here. Oh, something else which I built here, I believe this was my first big coaster of the park, is this uh, big invert here. Now, what I really like about this invert is uh, actually the height differences throughout the track. So, yeah, here it goes up, obviously, and then uh, through the loop which, uh, with the chain lift that goes through it. And here there's several more inversions. Now, I really want to have a cobra roll somewhere around here, but the train would lose too much speed. So I actually buried quite a lot of the track over here, and now it makes it through the cobra roll without any issues. And finally, some more inversions here. So yeah, I'm uh, quite happy with this layout, especially how many inversions I was able to cram in this uh, still quite uh, short layout. Also, it's uh, really an area of the park that's really uh, distinct from other areas of the park, mostly uh, because of its uh, color scheme. Now, I'm gonna quickly see if I can uh, make these colors blend more. Uh, probably if we uh, remove these land edges, which are probably just one millimeter tall the land should actually start blending again. And there we go, that already looks uh, much better. No, the game does not actually draw any supports here, which is uh, quite annoying. But yeah, this is something I guess we'll, uh, we'll have to live with. All right, that uh, didn't actually help. Oh well. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, let's uh, move on throughout the park. Um, here we have our uh, booster bikes uh, attraction. What's it yeah, it's actually called booster bikes. So it's uh, one of those Fekoma uh, turbo bikes coaster, I believe it's called that. So uh, yeah, from the station it gets launched. I believe I used block brakes for launch, not really sure. And yeah, just a simple uh, twisty track uh, throughout this uh, area here. Just uh, made it uh, very rocky, just spammed some of these large rocks uh, in between, some of these giant ferns which you will see throughout the park. Um, yeah, quite a simple layout. I ex th it was actually shorter uh, in the yeah, early on in the, in the life of the park, but I actually later extended it with its extra helix just to get some extra track length. It's a nice observation tower here in the middle. Now uh, over here we have the Atlantis themed area of the park. So I first built this uh, big log flume. Now also a layout I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with. I kind of like how it goes under itself here and uh, also this waterfall of course here also really helps. Quite proud of it. I think it's one of my better log flume uh, layouts that I've built. Um, also we have an aquarium here. Uh, quite a unique ride. Uh, I think it sits here uh, very nicely, uh, buried in uh, in these uh, rocks here. I really enjoy uh, the way this looks. Right, some more uh, rides here. Uh, here's a big uh, river rapids ride. I'm not really sure what these uh, rapid this type of rapids is called again in RST3, but yeah, they are uh, a lot bigger than your usual river rapids. They're also very wide, and uh, yeah, I think this uh, this kind of ride looks very impressive in this game. I think it's one of the more fun ride types to uh, to build in this game, even though it is might be a little bit unflexible because of it has such large track pieces. So yeah, definitely one of the more uh, um, yeah difficult uh, ride types to build if you don't have a lot of space. Right over here we have the Morgan Hyper Coaster, which travels all throughout uh, this section of the park. Probably the biggest ride in the park if we don't count the monorail. Quite happy with the with the layout once again. So just a simple lift hill over here. Several large hills here. A bit of a twisty section here with a big turnaround. And then finally here there's a section with several uh, bunny hops. 
It's a bit of an awkward one over here. Um, and then finally here it returns back to the station. Now over here we also have a dolphin show. I think it's quite fun how you can actually program these rides using the mix master. Quite a fun uh, functionality. Although I'm still not sure why some of the options were grayed out. Oh well, this is how it is. Here we have some uh, go-karts. Also with a little tunnel. Uh, go-karts, by the way, make a really annoying sound in this game. They almost sound like a vacuum cleaner of sorts. <laughs> right here, here we have the island of the park inspector. Beautiful island. Uh, yeah. He uh, never seems to get bored of this island. <laughs> I wonder what uh, stuff he's writing down on that clipboard of his after seeing the same tree for the 1000th uh, time. Here we have uh, Wild Mouse. Now, uh, what I really like about w building wild, wild Mouse in this game is you can actually add some inversions on them. Uh, so here we have a Wild Mouse which actually has this uh, inversion here. Quite a I think it's quite a silly layout, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's fun to uh, watch. Right here's the flying coaster, which I added in one of the latest episodes. Um, yeah, I'm really proud of this design. I think especially this uh, pretzel loop looks uh, quite nice. Although it is a little bit janky uh, when you ride it, but that probably goes for most coasters in this uh, in this park or in this game, actually. Big slingshot ride here. I really like the thrill ride selection that you uh, can choose from in this game. And especially some of the bigger trail rides are really spectacular to see. So over here we have a mini golf uh, island, a crazy golf island. Now it's not actually uh, getting used by guests uh, that often. So far only 161 guests have, uh, have ridden it in the few years that it has existed. But still, I, I, th I still think it looks uh, very nice here. A little disco ride here. Um, here's a Dizzy Dropper, one of those uh, sideways uh, coasters. One thing I enjoy about this ride is uh, the colors of the supports. I think that looks uh, quite fun. Okay, here we have our pool area. Now, um, yeah, one thing I don't really like about the pools in this game is that you uh, cannot actually change the color of the tiles. Well, actually, I did, didn't find an option to. But I think uh, if the game had a few more options for these, uh, we could probably make it look uh, much nicer. But still, uh, I just simply made some slides uh, going into this pool. Like, here's one that just goes uh, very steeply into it. This, there's, there's a spiral slide here. Here there's a big slide with a bowl, which actually goes uh, quite fast. Over here I made a lazy river, also with some of these uh, spa pools in the middle. Over here in the corner you can see a wooden coaster. Now uh, I actually quite enjoyed uh, building this wooden coaster, although I do uh, think that uh, wooden supports in this game look a little bit uh, weird. Probably because they uh, exist of, uh, yeah, it looks like they're flat. It almost looks like they uh, consist of 2D uh, 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 pieces of wood. Almost looks like a bamboo. So it uh, looks, uh, looks a little bit weird, these supports. But uh, I think this is a really fun uh, layout to, uh, to build and also to uh, watch. Uh, speaking of fun layouts, I also built this uh, uh, flying turns right here. I think it uh, sits here uh, very nicely with the wooden coaster across. So it's uh, I think it's nice to have some wooden rides here in the same corner. Now here uh, is, an, uh, is a part of the park with uh, some uh, rides in, in purple and red. So uh, this coaster is called Fudu, and it's basically uh, mostly what sets the theme for this area. So yeah, some very bright uh, colors here. Now, I actually quite enjoyed uh, building this uh, corkscrew coaster here. Mostly because uh, uh, in this game you can build these large corkscrews, and I think they're one of the uh, best elements that this game uh, adds. They're just so much more useful than the smaller uh, corkscrews. I think they uh, look beautiful as well. Alright, over here you can find the big splash boats, right? So, uh, yeah, in this game you can actually make diagonal sections of track for these water rides, something which you couldn't do in uh, 
RC2. I think it, uh, these diagonal sections make this uh, ride look very nice. I uh, really like uh, this uh, diagonal lift hill. It actually drops uh, under it here and then returns back to the station. Now, and there the I uh, didn't really find any way to add a path next to here. Uh, mostly because it would be uh, kind of out of the way. But uh, yeah, if the guests want to have a splash, uh, uh, a splash section, they, they should just go uh, stand next to the log flume over here. Which actually has a bridge which goes over the splash section there. Now also over here you can find this, uh, uh, what's it called, monster truck ride. Or, uh, it's called dinosaur safari. So basically it just travels throughout this area here. Uh, which has several of these dinosaurs, uh, these animatronic dinosaurs next to the track. This was uh, pretty fun to uh, decorate. Okay, and uh, with that we're already back to the beginning. Now, uh, I did skip an area here in the middle. So over here we have this uh, big mountain where the fireworks show is still uh, going on for some reason. Uh, yeah, and uh, here we have the, probably one of the most impressive rides of the park. So the station is somewhere underground here, and the train gets launched, and it uh, will come out of this uh, volcano here. Then it uh, travels through several inversions all in, yeah, around the volcano, before finally here it, uh, it uh, returns back. So I think this is uh, one of the most visually impressive uh, rides in the park, definitely the center point. And especially when the fireworks show is going on. Now, in uh, reality, it would probably be pretty unsafe to have a fireworks show going on with a live coaster uh, in between it. But oh well, it's a, it's, it's a game. Okay, and uh, with that, I think uh, we have concluded the tour throughout our park. Uh, I want to give a big thanks to all the patrons who support me, but also to everybody who supports me on uh, YouTube and on Discord. Your uh, support is really appreciated. Okay, for the rest of the episode, uh, we can take a ride on all of the coasters in the park. And maybe I'll uh, take one or two of the water rides as well. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed watching me build throughout all these episodes. And yeah, for the rest of the episode, let's just go take a ride on all these coasters.
All right, I hope you enjoyed watching all these rides. Uh, once again, thank you all for all your support. It really means a lot to me. And I will now make the park available for download on my Discord server. You can find the link in the video description. I did not use any custom scenery in this map, so you should be able to open it if you have the two expansion packs for this game. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.